in-depth, investigative. This is KXAN News at Noon. Well, we've got some new information about a huge fire burning and spreading near Bastrop this afternoon. The flames have consumed more than 14,000 acres and destroyed at least 300 homes. Our team coverage continues now live with Chris Sodegy and the latest update. Chris? Well, the planes and helicopters are overhead fighting this fire that began yesterday on this side. But within just the last few minutes, if you look back over this way, you will see another cloud of smoke shooting up into the air. And we're being told evacuations are beginning over here. This is exactly what they were worried about. With high winds again today, the message was made clear there could be more problems and that this is going to get worse before it gets better. Everyone was put on notice to prepare for the possibility of evacuating and leaving their home behind like the 5,000 people who have already done so. 300-plus homes damaged or destroyed, and that number could rise once a better look at the damage is possible. But this fire is not contained, and the evacuations will continue today. A re-entry plan and also a plan to take and distribute donations starting to come together. Shelters are set up to help people make it through. And one evacuee told us while it's hard to find out what's going on, they are being taken care of. Well, it's hard to get information, but um, food and the necessities um, are, are all there. And they're making sure people are safe. And um, that's the important thing. So now the focus in two different areas, the fire that started yesterday and now this new cloud of smoke that is shot up over here on the other side. We will keep you updated with information as we get it. Now there is an information hotline set up, a couple of them actually, 512-332-8856, 512 512-332-8814. Those are the hotlines set up for residents. As for resources, fires all across Central Texas have stretched everybody thin so they're asking everybody to be ready and be prepared that they could have to leave their homes we're live in bastrop chris sodagy cakes and news